Oh, for the love of God, kill the Muzak. Uh, get over here. Muzak to excommunicate. Good. Right. Apply and save. No, that button doesn't do anything. <laughs> Why am I surprised? I'm not surprised. Uh, hello, friends. I'm Colonel Failure. This is Beer Factory. That's the, that, that was my first load of the game. I know. I come at these cold. You know I come at these cold. Uh, but this time around, I'm coming at it fully cold. I'm not prepping in the slightest. I may change my plea. It's Beer Factory. It's Playway, and therefore it falls under the category of Barely a game. I promised you a beer factory and here it is. Uh, get out your bingo cards. It's time to play. Spot the mechanics we've seen before in another Playway game. Oh, 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 shut up. This looks rather pleasing initially. It does a bit, yeah. Okay, all right. What's the skinny? I mean, I know all the controls already because I've played this game a million times. Um, in your own time, oh, they've added an overview. Ca Don't give me a storyline. Oh, God, no. What? The budget we had, we were able to buy this old factory. Before we start working on it seriously, we will have to put the electricity back on, clean the factory, and do some renovations. You know the what? That's actually higher that quality than I was factory. expecting. Maybe we could yeah, okay. For you to clean up the factory. I'm going oh, to hold on. Subsidies. That's a robot! Uh, There's a robot the doing the voices! There's a That's a robot voice! Oh, naughty. Well, that's not naughty, but you know what? It was... It was uh, whatever. It's good. Yep, 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 yep. Open the factory's barrier. Uh, walk up, press E. No, it's F. Oh, okay, there you go. We've done that. Super. Good times. Um, and then just go to the lozenge and press the button it wants you to press. Ten four. Make yourself a coffee. I don't drink coffee. It allows you to sprint. I must have a coffee. And that's a quid. Okay. Good. Yeah. All right. Yeah. In your own time. Flipping coffee drinkers. Uh, yeah. Drink the coffee. Brilliant. Yeah. Super. This is gameplay. Right, I'll, uh, at least let me chuck the coffee cup across the floor. Uh, what now? Take a look at the fuse box. Okay. Right. That's been... Yeah. Open the fuse box. Look at the fuse box. Oh. Find and grab the fuse. You want something to plug in there, don't you? It's over here. Ah, oh, you know, I mean... Don't, don't let me wor worry about figuring out anything for myself. No. Uh, G is drop. Something is rotation. Yeah, yeah, all right, whatever. Hey, I'm the real oh, I just walked up. Get out of my house. What now? Chase the bum by throwing objects at him. <sighs> all right. Yeah. Do, 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 do. All right. Yeah, and again. Sod off. Okay. All right, there you go. Okay. Never come back. You're not funny. Ah, I've got a propane tuning part. Okay, look. Here's, here's the thing. Clear off. Go on. Op it. Op it. Go on. Get out. Here's the thing. I would be quite happy about building a factory-type game that was involved in tidying this place up a bit. Can I pick that up? Yeah, I can. Smooth. Can I get it through this door? Good luck with that. What's this idiot? Flip and die. No, no, kill him. Kill him. No, he's not going to be killed. He's just staggering around the place. Regardless, uh, I'd be quite happy about, you know, putting in machines, ordering supplies, having a few dudes just doing bit. I don't need any of this other guff. I don't need it. I'd, I'd, I'd be quite happy making up a fictional beer brand and just doing that. Take garbage and throw it in the bin. All right, there's some garbage. Bin. Hooray. Use your broom at the tool... Buy your broom at the tool shop. Yeah, in a minute. I'm busy. I've got I've got tidying to do. All right, yep. Yeah, give me... Oh, all right. I ate that one. Obviously, what's going on? I've got combustion for my... I don't know how that happened, but there you go. It did. Can I not clear this stuff up as well? 
Look, there's more mess here. There's a baseball cap. That looks like it's something. It isn't. All right. True to form, I have found the shop. There you go, it's a computer. Ignore the lozenge, that's just a lie. Uh, right, under the broom, it's 20 quid. I've got 1300, so that should be fine. Oh yeah, broom unlocked. I don't need a cutscene showing me my magnificent broom, and that is a mop, it's not a broom. Brooms have bristles. Yeah, like myself. All right, where am I gonna grab your broom? I thought I did. Equip. Okay, clean my factory floor. Will do. Let's get these leaves out of here. No, they're outside. You're not allowed to clean outside. Okay, can I clean these stains? No. All right, what can I... Oh, I can clean these dark patches. Oh, look at it come up. Oh, it's come up nice. Yeah. All right. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Come on. There you are. Magic. Oh, I feel, I feel enriched. All right, good. We're, hang on, there's some stains here. I'm going to get shot of these as well. No, you're not, because those aren't gameplay. Those are scenery. Ah, oh, this is gameplay. All right, okay, hang on. You're being far too cynical about all of this. Get to the point where you're making beer, and then you'll be happy. Hello, he's back. All right. Good news. I found some subsidies for your factory. Sweet. You receive a transfer. Okay. With this amount, you should be able to destroy the separation of the factory and renovate the machine in the back of the factory. Peachy. If you need more money, there are some investors interested. You can go to the computer to see about it and also see the conditions. Roger that, Wilco. Thanks very much. See you later. Right, what do you want me to do? Buy a factory extension. Seems premature, given that the factory isn't actually doing anything yet, but you're the boss, and therefore I'll do as I'm told. Let's go. Right, factory extension, extension, extension. No. Industrial. No. Uh, construction. Machinery room. Yes. Yeah, that feels like something that might be valuable. Okay, the grain crusher's available. Unlock the grain crusher. Okay, is that industrial? Yes, it is. I've unlocked the grain crusher. There it is. Ready to things with grain and probable crushing. There's a new tab in the help menu. We don't use help menu. It's there for the week. Accept a contract. All right. Contract. Contract. Yeah, beer distribution. Refine 26 sacks of raw malt grain. Uh, sure. Uh, delivery. Yeah, raw malt, 26, you said? Right. That's 48. Well, you know what? Let's do 48. How bad can it be? Order that bad boy. Yeah, this all feels very garage simulator, uh, garage forecourt uh, playman. Yeah, I know. All right, here's my pump jack. All right, where am I driving it to? Well, there's a van over there. All right, F. In fact, where did that van come from? That's that's not Johnny Johnny Malt. No, here comes Johnny Malt now. Oh, tail lift, is it? Okay. Do you want me to, I've got to open the back doors. Can I do that while I'm driving the forks? It feels unlikely. Whoopsie. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. These were always so much easier. Lift up. No, that's not that's not helping. All right, put it down. Let let go. No, you can't. Okay. Well, how am I supposed to open the doors when I'm busy operating this piece of kit? Come on, give me a clue. Escape. No. Um. Okay, you want me to open the truck doors? Right. Yeah. G's not doing anything. I seem to be a little bit snagged as well. I say a little bit. Lift it up. There you go. That'll work. Right. Get off here. Yes. Okay. Leave it there. Right. How do I now exit the pump jack? You pressed C. Of course I did. Okay. Right. Good. Open the flipping doors. You must get the pallet out of the vehicle before interact. Okay. Uh, let's, let's go then. Right. 
drive the vehicle. Well, it's wheeled, so I suppose you do drive it after a fashion. Yeah. Okay, you're off the edge again. Yeah, it's these last-minute manoeuvres, you see. Get your, get your line straight and then just go straight up the ramp and enjoy yourself with your life. Okay, there we go. No, 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 no. Yes, better. Now forwards. Right, and then a last minute, ever so slight. There you go. Good. And then what? Well, now, I don't know, press C. Press C. I'm rolling off the thing. Okay, well, I need to go, I need to go up. There you are. Right. Tail lift a hoe. Right, let's go. Yep, lift it up. Yep, do you reckon we got it? Oh, we've totally got it. Yeah, yeah, back her up a bit. Yeah, that'll probably do it. All right, that, and then down. I don't hate this. This is good. This is, this is it's stupid, but it's fine. All right, let's go. All right, and, all right, where am I taking them? I don't know. Maybe just leave this here, and then we'll figure that out in a moment. Okay, yeah. No, we'll just leave the supplies out in the rain, and they'll, they'll go for... I don't know whose pickup that is. Maybe it's Malt Bandits, and they've turned up to uh, to steal my cheese. It's not cheese, it's malt. Yes, very good. Right, get yeah, this. Oh, that's near enough. Up, please. There we go. Thank you. Good. Also, I noticed that by sending it up, it straightened out my uh, fork, fork truck. Pump, pump truck. Yeah, back up. Yeah, go forward a bit. Back up. Flipping. Just spare me. Forward a bit. Yeah. Back it up. Yeah. Forward it. Yeah. That's it. That'll do. Ramming speed. Lift her up. Good. Yeah. So much easier to do this in the real world. <laughs> uh, yeah. That's that's probably got it. All right. Let me go this way. Come on, keep coming. What's the problem? You're not stuck on the side. Do me a favour. It's fine. There you go. Now do that. And then down. Yeah. Good. And now grab this off here. You can close your own doors. There you go. I knew it could. Right. Power on your new grain crusher. I have no idea where that is. But I'm going to take the grain with me to the grain crusher. And, uh, and then we'll, we'll Wesley it. Right, let's clear up the area around here because, you know, it is a bit mucky and uh, and theoretically this is a food stuff of some description so, uh, you know, that it should arguably be a little bit more hygienic than I'm perhaps leaving it. Um, but I don't see any health and safety people around here so, you know, maybe we're fine. Uh, yeah, tidy that up. Yeah, give it. Oh, good, you give me some wheels for my forklift truck. Well, that's, that's making me feel delightful. All right, get get that out of the way as well all right mop this up yeah grab resource sack from the pallets yeah i will do hang on i'm busy i'm making this place fit for you know the preparation of foodstuffs you ever been to a food factory it's all very shiny and one of the things you can go is it's very clean in here isn't it uh, see i should be able to clean this but can i no that's just style oh well whatever right give me one of these Thank you. And then what? Slap it on here. Clean the dirt under the grain crusher. Oh, okay. Yeah, all right. We'll do. And done it. Right. Refine one malt bag. Okay. I'm working on it. It's in there somewhere, but let me get rid of this stuff. Uh, I don't know what it's going to come out. Is it going to come out of some kind of paste? Do I need a, do I need a bucket? Well, so far it's gone. It's it's up there. It's in the it's in the works. Right? Do I do I press a button? Speed, speed, speed. No, it's not speed. Is there something I can see doing? So I put another bag in. That's why I bought extras, just in case of something along these lines. Yeah, I'll slap that in there. Go on, son. All right, and another one. Yeah, that's. Where did the other one go? That's gone down the side. Oh, grab it. Put it on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right, 
Okay, yeah, keep yeah, do some more. Alright, see how far up this tube we can get send it. Whack! Well that was oddly satisfying. Turn that bad boy on! Oh what do you mean I have to hold it down? Alright, that one's done. Alright, smooth. Well let's get the other two, three, however many done. Keep that held down until they're all processed. Funky. Yeah, okay, that's good. Yep, yeah, grab one of those. Now, buy the buy the forklift. Oh, okay. Now, I'll stick that down there. Uh, while we're while we're buying the forklift, you lot, get up the tube. All right? Yeah, loved it. We're preloading. What have you done with that? I don't know. It went somewhere. All right, okay. Yeah. Okay, that's it. Yeah. Put them all on. Yeah. Doing so. Everything's going fine here. I'm certainly not just shoving them all down the back. Give me, give me that. Yeah. Oh, this is the life. Right. Yeah, menial tasks being handled in a menial fashion. Although I should... You know, the first thing they do at this factory... Do you know what they do? Yeah, someone would attach, you know, a bungee cord or something like that and a heavy weight to that make it do the thing handle. You should be able to lock it on. No one wants to stand there while it's doing its business. I mean, maybe you get a wheelbarrow or something like that and stick it underneath, but... Uh, no, 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 no. I don't, I don't hold with the way that you've, you've got that set up. Uh, oh, I found something else while I was poking around. Hang on. Get rid of this. I found one forky fork fork. Yeah. Now, uh, old me would have just chucked that in a skip, but no, I've, I've learned my lesson. Is that that's part of something. And it's going to be part of this bad boy, I reckon. Uh, forklift. Yep. Okay. I can't do that. Buy a forklift. Buying a forklift. Okay. Yeah, I'm put forklift certified. This is going to be no problem at all. Come on. Let's rock. Find the first fork. I already know where it is because I already found it. Get that. And whoop. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Yeah. Yeah. Come here. All right. Assemble the fork. What, with the forklift? Well, I, I think on the forklift would probably be the way I would go there. Go on, get on. Find the second fork. Oh, it's anybody's flipping guess. Is there a directional lozenge? Apparently it's in here. Bet it isn't. You're right! I know, I'm clairvoyant. There you go. Right. F drive the forklift. You flipping betcha. Let's go. Right, oh, uh, engine on. Horn? Horn doesn't work. Okay, well, whatever. Where am I going? Export your first production. To do this, place your pallet full of resources uh, you have refined in the trunk of the pickup using the forky fork fork. Pallet, you say? Well, there's a notion. I suspect quite strongly, get out of the uh, forky fork fork. Right. You've left the engine running. It actually leaves the engine running. Stone me, that's advanced. Uh, right, yep. Yeah, get up, you. All right, get all of these up there. Yeah. Do you think they're going to auto stack on a pallet? I'd be very surprised if they did. Yeah, as would I. Yeah. Good. How many of these do you think you're going to chuck all the way up there? Well, you see, the problem is that they've put this in a really stupid place. Yeah, because you can't quite stand it, uh, flush with the end. You could if you tried. All right, I could if I tried. You've got one stuff down there. I'm saving that for... <laughs> I'm saving that for emergency. Why don't you just drop it instead? Because G is not an intuitive letter of the keyboard to be pressing for anything. Yeah. Can I crouch? No. There's another one. Look. Yeah, I've got it. Yeah. There's, there's another one. Yeah, yeah, I know. I'll, I'll, I'll get that too. Go on, get off. G. G. Who chooses G as a character? Flipping. Come on. I can't jump. Oh, damn. Yeah, grab this. Yeah. Right, take this over here. Yeah. Right, drop it. G for drop. Right, now, will you stack? Yes. Right. Okay. All right. Well, that makes a little bit more sense then. Yeah. 
Oh yeah. Oh no, this is this is all this is all working out now. Just gotta get that one that's shoved down the side. What are these? Uh spares? How did they get over there? It's anybody's guess. There's another one. How'd that happen? Wait. Yeah, put that on there. Okay. I know. I thought for a moment they were multiplying and my problem would solve itself. But no, it's... No, that's not the case. Right, put that on there. There you go. Ooh, can I double crush? Oh, what's this one? Yeah, that's that's another one that, that has been rejected by the system. Well, the system's bobbins. Yeah, well, regardless, it has been rejected. Can I kick this pallet into such a place that it... What about resolving the location? I oh, know, could, it could end up anywhere. Don't even try it. If we have to load this pallet by hand, we will do. But meantime, I've got to hold this flipping thing down. Is it working? No. <laughs> I mean, you're getting the refined goodies coming out. But what's not happening is they're not going directly onto the pallet. Maybe they will if you put the pallet in a better place. Well, I'll know that next time. I'm sure you will. Meanwhile, we'll keep going until we observe that there are there's nothing more coming off my conveyor belt. Well, that seems to be all it wants to do, which strikes me as a bit off. Yeah. Put that on there. Yeah. Grab. Put. Where did it go? It's over here now. Um, okay. Yeah, put it there. Why is it over there? Why did it go over? I didn't press anything. It just wanted to go over there. That's the land of its forefathers. You know, the only reason that I wanted to play this game was I wanted to come up with a comedy name for some beer brands. That's all. I'd take Mad Beer Tycoon over there. In fact, someone... If you're paying attention there, Mad Games Tycoon, man, go make Mad Beer Tycoon. Use exactly the same engine, and it's just instead of, uh, instead of making games, I'm making beverages. I mean, it's, it's a license to print stupidity, and I am well into that, as you are aware. Right. It's more than one pallet's worth to complete this job, right? There's 24 bags on a pallet, and uh, it wants 26 bags. All right, there's there's no rocket science involved in it. I have, this is not some grand discovery. Up, oh, please. Yeah. Look, why didn't you just nick farm sims keep controls? You know, they've already solved this problem, and they are the foremost uh, forklift truck simulator type deal. Never mind. I'm over it, but I'm not. All right, up. And then just slap it in the back of here. Alright. Done. That's 19. I need five more. Do you actually need it on a pallet? Or can I just, you know, casually toss uh, loose bags in there? Alright. In answer to that question, no. Not just that, but he's nicked me pallet. Alright, maybe I can... No, no, you've thrown that over there. Okay, well in that case, do you think I could get this blue pallet or any of these pallets because I've got a pallet shortage now to the tune of I haven't got many pallets uh, also I can't help but notice that my fuel went down only after I turned the engine off so you know that's a thing uh, yeah all right let's have a look I'm gonna go for no you can't because this is scenery at which point I'm gonna reiterate a point I made earlier which is I don't want scenery, right? Especially, especially when the scenery is misleading. Three, yeah, four, five, six, seven. All right, so we'll give them a bonus one. Didn't work. Ah, flipping egg. All right, uh, two. That arm hasn't stacked either. No, neither is that one now. There you go. That's two. We've got two on there somehow. That's three. I'm not even sure what's happening anymore. Uh, yeah, grab that. Rotate it. Just put it on the flipping pallet. That one didn't want to go. Put that one on the pallet. There you go. Yeah. Yeah, right. How many have we got? Two, six, and one more. Come on, lie neatly on. That's raw malt. That's why it doesn't want to go on there. Oh, okay, shove it up the flipping hole. Right. Are you done? You're raw. Okay, get up there. 
Are you done? Yes, you are, you are crushed. Well, rather like myself. Put it on there. And now go and get the forky fork fork. What are you? Uh, crushed. Super. Alright, engine on. Yeah. Oh, I'll tell you something. I've Where did that come from? I've tweaked my little finger through pressing F so often. Now, obviously, all the cat canders amongst you are going to go, why is, he, why is he pressing F with his little finger? I don't understand. Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm too... I don't know. I don't... Why is he using his little finger on F? There I go. Because I'm using the mouse in the correct hand. You plum. Right, moving on. Yeah, no. Oh, it's put a lot of stress on it. E's the, it should be E, not F. Everybody knows this. Just, I mean, why are you trying to be, you know, new and innovative? Stop it. There's nothing else new and innovative going on here. Uh, just be new and innovative with something else. The AI telephone call was new and innovative. Oh, after a fashion. Right. You didn't really need to turn the engine off, you know. He's sunk into the ground. Is he going to go? No, I think there's a I think there's a bin bag in his way, and he doesn't know exactly how to respond to that. This concrete hasn't set yet. Right. Get that. And chuck. Flipping heck, he was quick. Talk to the... He's back. You worry me there with your blacked out windows. It's being staffed by aliens. Right, to the computer. Yeah... I've got two computers now. Does this one work as well? Yeah. And this one? Yeah. I mean, I guess it depends if you want an ashtray on your desk. Okay. Uh, contracts, 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 contracts. Validate. I made 700 bucks and 38 rep. Peachy. Now what? I can have another contract in 26 seconds. Okay, but I don't want to crush any more grain. Find a bottle of gas. Well, I know where that is. I found that while I was trying to find platform doodars for the thingamajig. Grab this. Refuel the forky fork fork. Okay. Uh, I imagine it's just going to happen when I'm... There you go. Okay. Right. Good. Now what? Buy a slot for pallets. You need to equip your toolbox. Ding! And then this. Uh, pallet slot. Okay. Buy. And what, is, what does this do? Do you want to give me a hint? What's it What's it do? Because then I'll know where to put it. Feels like I should put it over here. Well, I, it'll do. There you go. Validate. Switch to management mode, default tab, to toggle it. And then connect a workstation slot, orange color, with your new pallet slot. This defines where employees will pick up the resources they need. Okay. Uh, yeah, oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah, uh, but, and, but, yeah, okay, yeah, got that, what am I connecting though, connects a workstation, yeah, put your toolkit away, right, just, mm, yeah, here, here we go, I want to connect this to that, yeah, okay, right, connect a workstation, orange anchor, Oh, hello. What's going on here? I just pressed that. Okay, this. New link. Oh, right. Okay. Oh, cool. Yeah. Right. Does that say that it's already linked? Don't think so. All right, so grab that. Is it F? Is it anything? Is it? No, I think that's already connected. Well, it wasn't working a minute ago. That's what your employees will do. Now, where do you want to hook that up to? I don't want to hook it up to anywhere. I've got nothing else to hook it up to at the moment. Well, get on with it anyway. All right. Uh, here then, I suppose. Ta-da! Now, it's already got a connection. Well, what do you want me to hook it up to? Yeah, I've got it. Right, move on. Let's do the next thing. All right, let's hook it up to somewhere else. Um, Hire a new worker. Oh, you ruddy know it. Here's Derek Johnson. Can I name him something else? Nope. Uh, this employee is passionate and determined, eager to learn the ins and outs of beer operation. Well, he can dream on, because that's not going to happen. Okay. That's good. Right. Okay, I've done it. Interact with my employee. Excuse me, employee, I need to interact with you. I'm going to stab him with a mop. Yeah, is he in here? Nope, he's not. Oh, there he is. Oi, Derek. 
uh, a sign workstation. This way. Come here. Come here. Come here. Level up your employee. Ooh. I want you on this here. Validate. Or or this. No, I want you to here. He doesn't know what I'm talking about. All right. Yeah, no, Derek, I want you I want you working here. Yes. Yeah, I want right here, Derek. I want you on this. I want you working on here, Derek. Derek doesn't want to work on that. Derek, I'm not giving you a choice in the matter. Well, okay, maybe over here. Derek, work on this. Nope. All right, Derek, Derek, try this one on. Can you work on that? Derek? What is it? I mean, he's keen. He's following me around. Maybe he thinks I'm just showing him things. Can you work on the forkies here? No. All right, Derek. I'm supposed to. I'm supposed to give you something to do, but I'll be completely on. And I'm, I've only got 15 minutes. So I've got to pay you again. Yeah. Um. All right, Des. On this one. No. All right. Come back, Derek. Can you do this? Oh, he's just finding work for himself to do. He's cleaning. Well, I mean, I like cleaning, but I'm quite happy with him doing it for me. There's nothing to clean, though. I've already done it all. Yeah, but I mean, he's keeping himself amused. I don't want the bugger amused. I want him working. Yeah, come and clean up some of these sacks that I've chucked all over the place. That'd be helpful. Let's refine some more crap. Come on. There we go. There's one. Yeah, there's one. Yeah. There's one, yeah. And another one, good. And some more, right. Cool. I, this is what you're supposed to be doing, Derek. Just FYI. Yeah, I don't want to do this. No, this is beneath me. Did you see that deck? Did you, did you get it? Where are you going with those? Put that down, come here. Uh, work, yeah. I'm assigning you a workstation. I mean, I'm going to try. Uh, please work here. Here, here, here. No. Here. No. Here. No. Please work here. Come on, surely you can work here. No. Please work here. No. Don't just look at me with your glazed expression. All right, fine, work on there. Uh, I'm going to go and unlock the brewery line. He's just going to stand there doing nothing. It's not over there. It's not over there. That's a lie. Oh, flip it. It's a lie. All right. Well, look, I'm assuming that it's this, which is 1,100 quid. I've got 600 quid. So that's a thing that's not happening. Uh, let's get some more. Let's get some more Maltese in. Yeah. Maltese, please. Yeah. Yeah. More of those. Get them ordered. Uh, and then uh, give me a contract for another 600 notes to do, you know, some more beard flipping malt weaseling all right i'm gonna go away and weasel some malt so it's a little later now and uh, and i'll be completely honest with you uh i was about ready to write this off as just another so-so work sim um but it's not no there's a lot more to it the problem with it uh, that's, that's stuck yes you've got bugs all right you've got bugs and they are very noticeable um but more than that is uh you've got uh quite a lot of grind early on and that doesn't help um yeah, yeah i mean the the gap between getting to the the point of you feel like you're making a difference and you're heading in a positive direction is too slow that can be fixed that's something that you know a bit of a bit of a balancing design pass will you wait a sec i'm trying to hook up the flipping output palette for crying out loud uh, it makes such a difference getting the output palette right. There we go. Now, let's get that refining. Come on, come on. There you go. Right, then, I'll, then I'll recap where we're up to. So, I've got some beer being brewed. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's downstairs. I'll show you it in a minute. Um, but uh, in the meantime, I'm earning money because the next job is to buy the new building with bottling machines. And that's three grand. So, I've got the cash. I just need to get to the point where I've got the cash and then some 
Uh, because as much as there are loans in the game, I always avoid taking loans in game if at all possible. Because that's wise. Uh, now with this uh, malt grinder, it overflows the raw malt uh, if, uh, if you don't empty it once in a while. Which is why there are bags all over the place. Some of them drop out of the sky and you just kind of go, well, where did that come from? It, it, it doesn't really matter. You don't end up losing any. You're mashed already. You can get on there. Um, but yeah, it's still, it's still a little perplexing. But you can file that under bugs. Yeah. Anyway, this clown, he's quite capable of running the show here. He's, he's good at stuffing them in. He'll take them off the pallet. The, the system of setting up pallet loading areas with machines is... It's really quite cool. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. It's actually a pretty cool system. It just works in a really janky way at the moment. And again, you have to go, well, it's early access. And therefore, you know, maybe give it a little bit of uh, a little bit of forbearance. And, and I'll be completely honest, in the first part of this video, I was not offering much forbearance. It's gone into early access too soon. They need to iron out just a couple more kinks before getting to this stage. Um... But now that I'm at this stage, hang on, turn the engine on, uh, and, uh, and I know my way around everything that I've done so far, uh, it's, it, I'll, I'll show you in a sec, I'll show you in a sec. There's a, there's a bit where, where you've got to fit a ladder to something, and you just kind of go, well, how, how the hell do I do that? And he goes, ah, uh, if only you knew. I kind of go, yeah, I'm not going to wade through a help menu, just tell me how to do it. So I went to YouTube rather than a help menu, and, uh, and I found, uh, oh, you just got to click a thing. As is so often the case. Anyway, that's another contract done. All right, park this up. Uh, the fuel for this, it runs out of fuel, but it's got infinite fuel. It just respawns it. Not a great system. And this is a thing that happens in quite a lot of life simulators, is they'll implement something and go, yeah, 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 we'll do it like that. And if they took a moment to think about it, they'd go, it's not much fun, though, is it? Is it? It's not an awful lot of fun. It doesn't really doesn't really up the fun in the slightest. Anyway, let's let's get on with this. Right, construction company. I need the bottling room, which is two grand, two grand, not three grand, uh, two grand. Oh, I've no idea what to expect in there, but we're going to have to. Oh, it needs cleaning out. But I've got a cleaner on staff, so that should be easy, my peasy. Uh, open the entry to the bottling room. Well, I've got to go and flip and find it first. Oh, maybe it's this. Nope. Okay. Well, what the hell else is it? Uh, okay. I'm a bit. I'm a bit perplexed. All right. It will reveal itself. Everything else has kind of revealed itself. So, I'll just continue with the tour, shall I? Shall I do that? Oh, maybe it's that door it wants me to open. That's plausible. He's going in, but I suspect he's just he's just apparating through the door. Let's have a look, shall we? How are you getting in there, slow-moving man? Uh, the cool thing about employees... Well, the, the thing to know about... Uh, yeah, he's just pulling stuff out through the wall. Um, the, the interesting thing to know about employees is, uh, is you have to train them before they can use a machine, and that's not always obvious. And so you find yourself swearing at it, going, come on, why aren't you working? I've done everything. And then it'll go... Uh, uh, you need to... You'll, you'll spot the training opportunity, and you go, oh typical it's this one well that's not opened the entry to the bottling room has it that's just empty open the back gate that's no that's no makes sense no but maybe i just need the back gate open in order to unlock the doors brace yourself i don't think this is necessarily going to work no no it's it's not working oh you know it is working i've just stood in the right in the wrong place right let's get this gate open there we go. Yeah. All right. Brand new facility. Oh, well, I've got two grand to make it work. Order a pallet of bottles. I will do in a minute. I'm going to wait for Clown Boy to finish tidying up in here. Uh, yeah, and that. Right. And you've given me some more wheel options. Terrific. Uh, clean that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you get the health inspector come around on a regular basis. I don't know what she's checking for, because every time she's been around so far... We've had a clean bill of health. Now, I suspect it's because I'm moderately fastidious when it comes to actually tidying up, but I can't, I can't hand on heart say that that's the case. Uh, so we'll, we'll see. 
Anyway, I probably need to take the mop to some of this, or is this going to be, you know, just some just some business? Oh, that's interesting. Go on, do tell. I haven't got my mop or my toolkit. All right, resets after you. I'm on a I'm on a different day now. You see, uh, so yes, it's it's reset them. I'm gonna have to go and pick them up again. We're going downstairs. That's where we were. Here's where we're going. Uh, <laughs> there's a pallet. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm not sure how it got down here either, but it did, and we need those. You can buy empty pallets, which is not immediately apparent uh, when you first start out, and you need them. Uh, you you will need the occasional extra empty pallet, but uh, for the most part, you'll just be reusing ones that you brought other things in. Uh, and there's some more malt. Yeah, chuck it up there so you'll find it later. Otherwise, I'll forget it's here. And sorry, I've got to do these things while I think of them, otherwise I won't think of them again. And then, you know, and then where will we be, frankly? Well, there'll be bags of malt just lying around all over the place. Yeah, at least that's in the right room. It's not nowhere near the right area, but it's in the right room. Right, here we are down in the brewing hole. I've got shelves aplenty. For what reason? Hard to say for certain. Uh, right, no, I wanted to open that. All right, well, put it down then. All right, uh, just, do you have to hold it? No, you put it over here. Yeah, no, there you go, right. And then you take an item. This is a weirdly set up kind of deal. Uh, yeah, you have to put these on the shelf and then uh, Timmy Riggles over there will we'll sort it out. Now, I've not actually assigned this yeast shelf correctly yet. You have to assign shelves to the machinery, but we'll do that. Hello, all right, how are we looking? He's not going to tell me, is he? Yeah, he will. Uh, yeah, I've got everything in there. I probably need a little bit more water, but that's okay. No, this ladder, when you place a tank, it doesn't have a ladder on the side. And it goes, throw some, get, uh, get some hops in the top of the tank. And I was going, but how do you get up there? So I ended up lobbing hops from the bottom over the railing into the top. And then when it got to doing yeast and none of them were landing in there, I went, okay, what's the proper way of doing this? At which point you learn that there's a toolkit maneuver you have to pull. Yeah. Fascinating, I know, but I, you know, I, I tell you my, about my learning curve. I could have recorded it for you, but I didn't. We're all just going to have to get over that collectively. Right then, to the shop. And we're going to need a delivery of bottles, please. Uh, the industrial market, empty pallet, no, 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 empty bottles. Six empty bottles per unit. I imagine 24 on a pallet, right? Well, let's find out. Uh, we'll order those, and uh, and we'll see how we get on. I mean, either way, that's a pretty good number of uh, pretty good number of what is it? Bottles, bottles. Pretty good number of bottles. Uh, I also I probably want a little bit more water. Where did you find that? I found the brewery. Right. Okay. So I've got hundred liters still stored. The tank capacity is two and a half thousand liters. So let's order a bit more of that while I've got money. Uh, just order a thousand liters. That's not cheap. It's not. I, I said the delivery fee is forty-five quid. Oh right. In that case, I might as well take the lot. Yeah, get it ordered. Right, and we'll deal with that in a moment as well. But first off, let's get these bottles off this truck. Yeah, it's like you. It's like you know it's going to happen. The truck's rocked up. Um, but that's fine. The, the most useful thing with this pallet fork and with the forklift truck as well is uh, is a key that I learned later on. Now, when you do this, right, don't worry about getting it straight because you do that and then as long as you stood on the tailgate, you start going up. It auto centers. Yeah, there's my bottles. Marvelous. And then we wang it in there and then just press R and it snaps. There you go. Oh, you don't even have to be close. If your pallet truck is uh, is just covering the, uh, the the pallet you're trying to pick up, it will just do it. And the same on the way down. See? See how you don't have to actually get... Once you learn these things, it becomes a lot less effort to actually get it done. But while you're working out how to get it done, it's a right pain in the backside. It's thoroughly annoying. Um, but after you've sussed it, it's no hassle at all. And then we'll just lower that down, pull these out of the way, clear enough room for the forky fork fork to go in and do its job, and we're there, right. Come on you, engine on, right, fork's down a bit, 
Yeah, no, I'll demonstrate. All right, let's see how, let's see how little like, contact I can make. That'll probably do it. About there? Yeah, there you go. I don't know, you kind of go, ah, oh, I'd rather do it properly. You kind of go, nothing stopping you doing it properly. Uh, but this is, that just saves a lot of hassle. Because an awful lot of what you do is very slow. I mean, look, we're, we're mashing around here in a forklift truck, and it's taking ages. You go, it's not taking that long. And you kind of go, yeah, it will do, though. Oh, hold on, it's because your forks are grounding you out. There you go. Yeah, it does that, too. I'm not... I'm not ready to. Uh, I'm not. I'm not ready to unload yet. I want to get the rest of these bin bags out of here because that will never do. Flipping Johnny Cleaner's taking his chuff in time. Right, good. This looks a little bit more lively. Uh, and uh, there are eleven bags of rubbish to pick up. Top right of the screen. There's no mopping to be done. We're all good here. Right then. So, select stored beer and launch the engine. Okay, yeah, use that. Uh, we're coming from Big Cam 1, and that is currently brewing Regret Brow. I've got 10 litres in stock. That's not very much. Uh, production settings, yeah. Launch. Launch. There you go. Launch. And I guess punch it. Oh, hold on. Production settings. Hit that. Select storage. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know this all makes sense. Right, cool. Well, just on the off chance that you're going to have some kind of seizure if you haven't got bottles, although I'll be honest, I don't know exactly where to put the bottles. So let's just let's just crack on. Uh, go there and then launch it. Wait for the machine to bottle at least one batch. Uh, exciting. Uh, my first my first selection of regret brow. Uh, right, can I grab a? Yes, you can. Okay, where do you want it? You want it here. Okay. All right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Bottle, bottle, baby. Oh, does it need unpacking, or is it going to do it itself? I reckon it needs unpacking. Unpack. There we go. Bottles are rolling. Woo! Oh, how thrilling. Yeah. Oh, no, that's terrific. I'm loving it. Oh, it's all filled with regret, brow. Or is it? No, yeah, it's got to go through there in order to have the label stuck on. Oh, yes. No, it's disappeared. Is it coming out the other way? There it is. It's got a little label on it saying beer. I designed that myself. You're welcome. Yeah. Now, are these going to auto stack or are they going to knock each other over? No, it's all good. Look at it go. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. Ah, yeah. Buy and place a bottling machinery. Surely I shouldn't need to do it. These are bottled already. I've done that. Sure. Oh, I've got three cases of beer going on here. Ah, oh, amazing. Uh, yeah, give me some more of this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Let's, uh, let's line up. Let's line up another one. You're not going to play, are you? Oh, no, no, that's it. Uh, another bug. It's another bug. Sometimes it will do that you didn't quite pick it up properly kind of thing, uh, where you've pressed the pick it up button, uh, but it doesn't come with you. But as far as the controls are concerned, it thinks you've still got it. So you have to go, no, 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 I don't actually have it. And then uh, and then all is well. Yeah, buy and place a bottling machinery. I shouldn't have to, right? I think I've I've got two rows already. And if anything, what I need to do now is go and get some more Regret Brow brewing. Uh, now, Regret Brow is not a brilliant recipe. I just went with, you know, cobbling something basic together. I think we're out of beer. <laughs> Pick the bottles up. Don't smash them. Yeah, okay. Put or, or smash them. Your choice. Good. Yeah, we're all out. Smooth. Right. Stop that. Now I can I can stick a dude to uh, to work on this. But I mean, look, look at this actual beer bottled by myself. Now I don't know another way of doing this. Uh, taking pallet loads of stuff down to the down to the tanks. Um, but you've got to be very careful with your fork position because grounding out is very likely, as is hitting the ceiling. Um, so I don't know if I'm doing something wrong. I don't know if there's another way of, of getting stuff down here or not, but it's anybody's guess. Well, it's your guess, fundamentally. You're the one playing it. Well, okay, yeah, true. Uh, now, the more I play of this game, originally I was going, yeah, 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 standard, standard play way kind of tool set stuff going on in here. 
and that's it's okay but we've been there we've seen it we've done it this is something we have previously encountered um but here's the important bit the important bit is it's got an awful lot in common with gas station simulator um and that as you know already is probably the best work sim we've done in a while or at least the best novelty work sim farm sim's the best work sim um yeah the best can i pick it up from here no but this is why i want a worker on it why can't i assign why is the brewer not doing this work because he flipping should be shouldn't require me and what's his job just to stand there and gawp at it Nah, it feels foolish certainly doesn't feel like the regret brow way no i don't want to take one of these up just for the sake of you know a little bit of Ooh, keep it fresh. No, you're waiting for hops. Okay. All right. Well, I mean, that's up there now, so that can help in a minute. I don't think you've actually got 24 hops. No, I've got I've got a few short of that. I'm going to gonna have to grind up some more. Uh, still, you know, we've been through almost the full cycle. The last thing... Hang on, I'll put it down. There you go. Yeah, that was one of those... It thought I had it, but I didn't have it, and it got confused with life. Um, but eventually... We'll have this down as a fine art, and we'll be making money. The last part of the sequence is to uh, is to learn the uh, the selling of the thing, and I'm going to do that next. We're going to assign Felimilad the brewer to go and operate the bottling machinery, and then uh, I'm going to sell a a pallet load of regret brow, which will be ace. Uh, right then, sunshine, you've been stood here for a long time. Let's. Let's put this poetry in motion. Right, product selection. Yeah. Uh, right, yeah. No tanky storing brewed beer. Flipping is. Uh, select. Yep. Regret brow. And, uh, yeah, validate. It's, it's, it's trying to tell me that I haven't got any. I have, though, because I haven't done anything yet. I, I haven't used up... Don't tell me you've... Yeah, thank you, sanitary report. No, 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 no. That can't possibly be true. You haven't thrown away my beer, have you? I've got 120 litres stored. Right, try it again. I had this work... Oh, no, no, you just go down to there and then you go launch it. Hey! All right, that's a relief. And we're rolling. Out comes the regret brow. Right, and we can probably do the same from here. I hope we can do the same from here. Uh, let's go down one and hit it. Out comes the regret brow. Fantastic. And then, because uh, we've got player three on the go, oh, we're going to need to select some storage. Uh, do that. Yep. Select storage. That one. Yep. That one. Yep. Validate. Yeah. Punch it. Because there's 360 bottles worth, you see. And therefore, whoopla, flaming neck. It's got through them in a hurry. Come on in, boy. What you doing? Are you working or what? I was hoping for more. I'm not going to lie. I mean, something along the lines of, you know, take the boxes off the end and pallet them up properly. But just sticking a pallet at the end will catch them and that will probably do a good enough job. Probably. All right. Okay. Yeah. Now, you. I mean, we should have. We should really have ordered the uh, the truck before coming out here. Yeah, I know, but I was excited. Finally getting to live my vicarious beer dreams. I know, I could have just forked, forky fork forked it straight into the back of the truck, but I'm not going to do that. I want to use the honking great crane. Because nothing bad can come from that. No, it's going to be a delight. Move her along. Yeah. Yeah. So far, so good. Pretty sure I left it in the right place. Uh, crane down. Crane down. Oh, yeah. This is where we find out I'm not in the right place. Yeah, but I'm sure I'm sure we can get it. It's close. Maybe something will light up when it's available. Down a bit. Okay, that's the ground. Can I move this camera? No, but you can switch camera. Yeah, okay. That's not unhelpful. All right, bring it back this way. Yeah, down. Right, attach. Nope. Okay, down, up, up. Okay, over a bit. Don't tell me you can only do it with a full pallet. Please don't tell me you can only do it with a full pallet. That means I've got to brew some more brow. And as much as I might be up for that, I don't want to attach. Attach. 
it doesn't want to attach all right go up a little bit further right now go down and attach <gasps> i'm so excited <laughs> all right up yeah we don't want this one we want the next one okay yeah all right and over can't see anything here we are look here we are where we need to be right yeah and down 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 mm. maybe it needs to come back this way all right down down can i rotate this because if not this is not going to work can i wrote can i rotate my load please uh what about no that's up and down please can i I, if I could rotate the pallet, this would go in no flipping problem, bruv. Anyway, just dropping the pallet off seems to have done the trick. All right, okay. Yeah, it's in there. That's ridiculous. Yeah, you want to get your pallets lengthways on in order to do it. Or just drive the forky fork fork in there. Right, good. There you go. Uh, solve the object location rotation. No, I'll let the game do that. Let's see if I can now export this bad boy. I've got 800 quid left. Now, sell me the things uh, over here. Yeah. This one, exit and sell merchandise. Total, 700 quid. That's very disappointing. In fact, that's insanely disappointing. Exit and sell merchandise. Oh, maybe I've... No, no, hold on. I've still got... It was 360 bottles. I only gave away 40 just now. Oh, in that case, forget I spoke. Yeah, I need to order some more bottles. Right. Yeah, no, it's all right. I'm an idiot. You're all good. I'm I'm stupid. Uh, right, give me the world market. Anyone selling bottles? Yes, sir. At $06. Six bucks for six bottles. Right, okay. Whereas delivery is bottles, bottles, bottles. Six for 10 bucks, right? No, six bottles, six bucks. Same approach yeah but i don't have to get them off the back of the truck yes okay right well give me loads of these yeah get them ordered new objectives will be added soon see there's nothing more i've shown you the entire game which is why i'll probably come back when they've added a little bit more i think you've got to empty this truck in order for a fresh one to turn up okay i'll do that yeah yeah no it's fine it's all good. Anyway, uh, I hope you enjoyed this. It's probably quite a lengthy episode. Um, certainly, I've recorded about three hours worth of stuff that now I have to go and edit. All right. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I'm going to unload this truck and get some more brow on the go. And uh, I'll catch up with you soon where I'll be playing something that is not this, that is different, but oddly similar. Catch you next time. Cheerio. Welcome to my review series. This is episode one in my review series. It's a series about reviews using Colonel Failure's patented subjective enthusiometer. Um, and it, it swings from cynicism to enthusiasm. And uh, I'm not going to do it on every game, but I'll do it on a few. And actually, if you like the format, I'll do it some more. Uh, the enthusiometer throughout the uh, episodes, I'm sure you saw. Uh, was uh, was swinging as I became more disillusioned or happier as time went on. And uh, and where did we end up? We ended up just above the potential mark, not quite re reaching the check later, uh, which basically means it's got potential, but can I really be bothered to check it again later? Um, it's released in no fit state. That's the problem with it. Uh, now, Playway, I, I've played so many Playway games. And it's very obvious that what Playway have is a toolkit for putting these games together that they'll pass out to various little, you know, one, two, three person teams to go and turn into something viable. That's what they're looking for. Playway is all about the minimum viable product. They put out the most bare bones thing they can in the hope that they get gold out the other end, or they get sales and ongoing interest. If there is enough ongoing interest, like there was with House Flipper, for example, they'll put out expansions, like they did with Gas Station Simulator. Uh, if, the, if there's enough interest from players, they'll go, right, we'll invest more time in this. If there isn't, they'll go, well, it's done then, isn't it? 
move on. Let's do the next thing. It is the cheapest possible way to do game development, and that's what they're doing. That's their system, and as long as you're aware of it going in, you should never be completely disappointed. You should always expect for a little bit of disappointment. It's never going to be as good as you think it might be. You, If you were to design a beer factory simulator in your head, it'd be better than this. The end. <laughs> that's, that's really all there is to it. So what's good about it? Well, the stuff that they've nicked from Gas Station Sim, that's that's pretty good. The standard playway stuff is fine. The key assignments, as much as I gripe about them, there's nothing really anything wrong with them. Um, uh, the, the physics bugs and the stuff that doesn't work, I can live with that as well. The problem with it is it was not user tested at all i mean and even if you're going out with early access you've got to do at least one person who's not seen it before play through it and see where they get stuck because nothing's going to drive a person away faster than if they get stuck on something and i got stuck four or five times no more than five or ten minutes and it was only because i belligerently pushed my way through in order to get past the obstacle it's like that flipping there's a marker, I think I cut it out of the video eventually, but there's a marker for your next objective early in the game that is an area of the map you can't reach. Didn't stop me trying to reach it, though. No. Oh, no. It goes, go and reach the shop. And you kind of go, okay, I'll go and blunder my way over to the shop. And then only later on, I went like, hold on, they've nicked a load from Gas Station Simulator, and the shop for that was the computer. So I went and checked the computer, and what do you know? It's the shop. And you kind of go... Yeah, but I knew that. That's the thing. And and tooltips appearing or not appearing is completely frustrating. When you get your first employee, go give him a job to do. Now, if you're not 100% reading everything on the screen, I am famed for not 100% reading everything on the screen, um, you'll go, right, I'll go and get him working the conveyor belt over there. Terrific. He's not able to work the conveyor belt over there because he's too stupid to work the conveyor belt over there, even though, as I pointed out, a chimp could do it. Um, but no, he has to earn it. He has to earn enough XP by doing cleaning first, or you can level him up by buying it. That's what it was trying to teach you, but it didn't do that in a particularly effective fashion. And, and therefore, because you don't ever assign him to cleaning, that's just what they do by default. And it's small stuff like that that's incredibly frustrating. Now, the, the the system of hooking supply areas up to machines, that's where the potential comes from. That's where it could get interesting. But it doesn't work very well at the moment. It works on, like, one or two things. It's like the bottling machine. He can take the bottles out of cardboard boxes, and that's it. And you kind of go, oh, for crying out loud. Uh, or not being able to assign someone to actually get the bags of crushed malt out of the machine and stick them on a pallet for you, or or and it's it's like half a system and it's just not done. Um, and and that's that's poor, you know. Or having them take the malt outside and sell it for you. Imagine, if you will, you were playing a game like Factorio or Satisfactory, where. Uh, where throughout the entire game, you still had to mine iron ore by hand. You'd put the machine down. No, you could get as far as the coal-fired, the initial, the initial burners where you had to complete, you had to go over, before you got conveyors, you have to go over there and top them up manually all the time. That's what the game is. And I don't see a way where it's going to get any better than that. You are still bogged down in doing knucklehead stuff all the way through it that you have the choice to do knucklehead stuff is absolutely fine but that's that's the hard limit on the game you can't automate anything you have to do it all yourself and if you have to do it all yourself then that activity has to be pleasurable and eventually your activity is going to be boiled down to driving a forklift and pretty much nothing else when you've got good at it when you've got everything unlocked and you've got a few workers here and there it's going to be forklift driver and it's really not that much fun to drive a forklift, I'll be honest. So there you go. So that's why my enthusiasm stops at it's got potential, but it doesn't go any further. And here's the thing. If you're putting out an early access game, on the old uh, enthusometer, you want to be reaching the stage of going to play more. Or, better still, Giggly Schoolgirl. If you can get them up to Giggly Schoolgirl, you've got a solid slam dunk of a win. If you can get them to going to play more 
then again you've got a fighting chance but you fall below that scale they've gone forever that's their first and only look and they're never coming back uh, I played through basically the entire game or rather I played through all the content that's in the game uh, my steam account says I've got 10 hours I find but I did restart twice because uh, I made a mistake the first time round, the shelving scaffold I saw that as rubbish and I threw it in the skip and because you can't jump I couldn't get it back out of the skip you can buy extra bits of shelving scaffold but I didn't know that uh, I didn't know that it was needed or useful also never used those shelves once it makes that's another thing that I've got a flipping bugbear with the amount of stuff it would make you do that you didn't need goes now buy a bottling machine I go well I've got two why do you want me to buy a third one I'm not producing enough output to warrant having three of them not yet that should be something for me to decide to do later on I don't I don't need to do that. It, when you first unlock the docks, and I cut this bit out of the video because I was flipping furious, uh, it made you assemble four sets of shelves. Yeah, now, shelf assembly, which I also cut out because it's goddamn painful, uh, is you have to screw four bolts into each of the four foot uh, feet of the shelving unit, and then you've got to fit side panels, and then you've got to fit shelves. And you know what it isn't? It's not fun. Not at all. It is not fun. It is not rewarding. It's not interesting. It doesn't do anything for you. Um, if your workers would interact with shelves, that would be a different matter, but they already interact with pallets if you've got them in the right place and they're linked to the machine. If, in the end game, you set up a shelf and you link the shelf to the drop-off area and a worker will go and grab a forklift and they'll go and get a pallet off the shelf and take it to the area, that's a nice piece of gameplay. But it's not there yet, so let's say that's never going to happen. So there you go. Should you buy Beer Factory? That's up to you, because my review is entirely subjective. But what I've done is I've shown it off, and you've got a good dash of what's good, what's not, in my opinion. Your opinion may differ. So you want to try it? Go and try it. I'm not going to stop you. I've been Colonel Failure. There'll be another one of these when I find something that deserves to have another one of these. Um, let me know what you think. Thanks very much for watching. Uh, subscribe if you feel like it. Um, and, uh, and if you want more of me talking at you via the camera and the various thoughts that come along with that, ooh, thoughts, uh, then, uh, then feel free to uh, back the old channel. Yeah, you can join the Fail Brigade. This is not an advert I do very often. Join the Fail Brigade. You can do so by pressing the Join button on YouTube or heading over to Patreon, where you can find a very a, a various different sets of tiers for how much you... For a dollar, a dollar a month, you can become a member of the Fail Brigade and get all of the benefits therein. Don't, don't worry about what the page says. It's not entirely accurate. I haven't updated it in about five years. I should probably get around to updating in about five years. Uh, yeah. Hmm. Good. Anyway, thanks for watching. It's been a delight. I was, I was quite pleased with the little graphic and the arrow doing it. I mean, I was pleased with it. I, whether you are or not, it's, 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 it's,